to see you, to see you. Yes. Right, now you've blown that right away. That, of course, is Bruce for size catchphrase. Mine is actually nice to see you, to see you, and you're meant to say, fuck you, fat so. <laughs> so we'll try that once more. <laughs> nice to see you, to see you. Fuck you, fat so. Excellent, excellent. Not only fat, but ugly with it. It's a lovely combo. Only man in here we might have ever faked an orgasm when he's having a wank. <laughs> That's ugly. That's ugly. Anyhow, uh, thank you very much for coming out tonight. Um, hang on, just one late result coming in. It was Muddle 2, Celtic 1. <laughs> to do that again, for fuck's sake, yeah. <laughs> right, now actually, and just a more uh, sombre note, uh, I was asked by the management uh, that I've just got to mention 9-11. Um, that's the time at the bar shots down there. <laughs> but the, the Griffin's open to 10.45 across the road, so shoot you in, no worries. On a, on a seriously sombre note, uh, a big star of offside can't be with us tonight. I'm afraid that Jock the Cock isn't here. Aww. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road? I've been asking myself that for a week. Why the fuck did they have to do it? <laughs> Battered right away, hit and run, bit of joy riding with Broxy Bear and Hoopy the Huddle Hound, it was ghastly. <laughs> Feathers, beaks, arseholes everywhere. <laughs> Shocking. So he can't be here now. And a guy said, he said, look, that's not the end of Jock the Cock, it doesn't need to be dead. Why don't you try the old cryogenics? You can get them years for now. So we were going to do that, but then we thought, a frozen chicken. <laughs> that guy that was in the papers last week might try to shag him, you know. <laughs> oh, that manky bastard, eh? <laughs> Shagging your Sunday dinner, eh? <laughs> and I was as well, his wife said, that uh, you could actually, we could still have eaten it. That's what she said, that's it. Ghastly. I was wondering actually as well how he did shag a frozen chicken until I actually saw the picture of his wife. Did you see that? <laughs> Fucking not a bad shout. <laughs> now, I have to say by the way, it's great being in the theatre and doing this. It's absolutely fantastic because we obviously normally do it on the telly. And uh, fantastic being here. I've only been here once before in my life. Uh, two and a half years ago it was now to see Pavarotti. Him to come here and see that. No, oh, brilliant, fantastic Pavarotti. But I tell you, a bit of crabbit bastard he is. <laughs> Doesn't like him to join in. <laughs> <laughs> fucking half his head. Fucking half his head. He's like to know what's on tonight's show. Yeah. Excellent decision. Right, we've got loads of stuff uh, on tonight. We're going to have a bit of audience participation. I'm in a joke competition. We're going to have top impressions from Mr. Jonathan Watson. <laughs> and just on that note, do we have... Is there, a, is there a really, really sexy sort of 20-year-old lassie in the night? No. Must be one. It's just that later on, uh, Johnny's Dan Craig Brown. He really likes getting into character, you know? <laughs> So if you can make your way around his dressing room before the interval, that would be fantastic, right? Now, we also have uh, tonight, we've got a special mystery guest, and it's uh, somebody who's no been on offside on the telly before, right? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. David Beckham has no been on offside before, and it's somebody like him, right? Somebody that hasn't been on the show before, okay? That's the idea. We did ask quite a lot of folk to be on the show. Uh, we asked, for example, Martin O'Neill, would he come on and do the three nights? Uh, but you know what he's like trying to get him to sign a contract, you know, it's fucking hopeless, you know. So we had to bomb him out. Uh, we asked Bobby Williamson, he was up for coming on the show tonight. Unfortunately, it was a bit of a double booking. Uh, tonight's show clashes with Hibs end of season dinner. <laughs> so, and as you know as well, there's no way Bobby was going to turn down some scran. So, I mean, that was that, no chance. We also asked uh, Mr. Gordon Smith, the top BBC pundit. We actually asked him just tonight, we back an emergency job, but as we phoned him, he was just about to wash his hair. Uh, in fact, he'd only just put it into the machine, so he couldn't, <laughs> he couldn't come out. 45-minute cycle, you know, so that was it. 
But anyhow, I can tell you genuinely that uh, one of our special guests tonight, and I hope you'll like this, uh, one of our special guests tonight is the current Scotland boss, Mr. Bertie Vaults. <laughs> right, thank you. Yes, we're delighted Bertie can do the show. Uh, Bertie's backstage, you know. To be fair, uh, we're hoping this will cheer him up tonight because, understandably, he's a wee bit depressed, you know, you know but uh, we're hoping everyone will be all right. Right, has anybody got a number for Tommy Burns? <laughs> for God's sake. That's terrible. What a waste. If we'd have given Alan Johnston the gun, he'd still have been alive. <laughs> was anybody, anybody who'd admit it, was anybody in the Pharaohs? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking no chance. No, I wasn't there. I wasn't there myself. I mean, uh, that plane was already overweight. What fucking chance of that? <laughs> Gaff, that was that. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> well, a bad, bad state. But anyway, I'd like now to know who is in tonight. Doesn't sound as if we've got many Scotland fans in there, the way you were sighing at the result there, but uh, I would like to know who's in. For a start, we've got people who are out with Glasgow. <laughs> right, well, give you a wee bit of advice. This is actually bottled water, right? <laughs> do not, whatever you do, if you're outside Glasgow, drink the tap water, because it's still fucking poisonous, right? <laughs> now, I'll tell you how poisonous it is. We were getting reports tonight that it's currently being stockpiled by Saddam Hussein. <laughs> fucking leave it. Leave it. I would like to find out, though, who's in tonight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call out maybe some teams, and if you support that team, I want you to stamp your feet as hard as you can, and we'll know who supports you, okay? So, by stamping your feet, where are the Rangers fans tonight? <laughs> right, a reasonable amount. But there's actually our 500 locked outside with a smart car. <laughs> <laughs> get right, what about Celtic fans? <laughs> Right? Now, the Celtic fans, they actually get in for £7.99 tonight. <laughs> because I can tell you, this show tonight has been brought to you in association with Setanta. <laughs> right, what was that? Does that mean it's me down in the Wait till I see if I've got that written down as a joke, some fuck to have. <laughs> no, I'm not right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I might have tell this fucking Fred Macaulay was in your car. <laughs> now, do we have, we stamp your feet, Mullerwell fans? Right, there we go. You know where the concession tickets went, anyhow. That's <laughs> fucking showing me up. Well, I might have stayed quiet. I can tell you tonight, incidentally, that I spoke to FIFA, and uh, even if you're in administration, you can still get into the Champions League, so we'll sort it for this year. All right, don't worry about it. Fucking easy. Right. Any Airdrie fans? <laughs> Scary, because that's the rest of the auditorium. They're all going like that now. Fucking Wallace. <laughs> Don't believe a word there. Airdrie's a lovely place, and still the only place in Scotland with a mountain named after it. That, of course, is Mount Killaman for a gyro. <laughs> right, this is a... Fuck, I'm forgetting this is in video, and I was cutting off your applause there. <laughs> that is for video, and actually, for the folk who are in Fairdrie, just relax, treat it as CCTV, and you'll be fine, all right? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Right, here's a trickier one. Do we have any St. Johnston fans in? <laughs> right, that's maybe just as well. 
Because if there'd been a lot of St. Johnston fans, you imagine the noise would have got with feet that have got 13 toes each, you know what I mean? <laughs> I brought the fucking roof down. It'd be <laughs> disastrous. Anyhow, glad to see you, anyhow, whoever you are. And in your cell as well, that's a sin. <laughs> Who else have we got in? Maybe, hope I try. Any Clyde fans? Yes. <laughs> right, now, that could, is, is Paul McCartney's wife a Clyde fan? <laughs> I can hardly help that. Hey, she might be. Any Falkirk fans? Yay! Right, our receipt's no fucking great, aren't they? <laughs> it's brilliant! Fucking <laughs> super! You can get used to them, no problem. They're lovely. That's that. Not a problem. Right, uh, oh, incidentally, I forgot to say that when we came out, by the way, I did have a mention, because we do have, we've got a couple of Inverness Cali fans in tonight. I had a message for the front desk, if you could get to the front of the theatre, uh, you've actually left your dinghy in a double yellow line. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Just make your way out quietly, that'll be great, okay? Come on, who are all the Scotland fans in? <laughs> right, and any Faroe Islands fans? <laughs> right, well now we've established that there's both, uh, or there's worse than that, you're not fucking leaving them out. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> right, okay. Guy's embarrassed, he's in the toilet early, only get the wee willy. <laughs> Got a problem myself, so it's alright, that's that, no worries. Old sperm comes out single file. <laughs> if you want to come up here and tell us a joke, just a light bit of fun, and uh, we do have honestly a fabulous prize. Because the place is obviously packed tonight, we've taken in a fucking fortune, you know? <laughs> so we've got a good prize, a genuinely good prize. If you want to just make your way across, form a nice orderly queue up the side. And in the meantime, while you have some of your helping yourselves along there, and if you end up the stairs wanting to come down, just ask a friendly usher. Uh, they'll if you ask the usher in the second level there, I know for a fact she's particularly friendly. <laughs> That's it. We dressing room job last night, thanks again, Jane. <laughs> to give you an example of what you're up against, I jotted down some of the, the jokes that in the last series of Offside won a t-shirt. So you've not got much to compete with, right? One that won the t-shirt was, what's E.T. short for? He's got wee legs. <laughs> <laughs> that won a t-shirt. One that I liked that won a t-shirt was about the three Scottish guys who are out in Saudi Arabia and they've uh, been convicted of some terrible crime and they're going to get executed. So the big Saudi Arabian uh, boy, he says to the first Scots guy, he says, right, what do you do for a living back home? He says, I'm a carpenter. And he turns and he says, saw that man's cock off. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> says to the second boy, he says, what do you do back home in Scotland? He says, I'm a welder, mate. He says, blowtorch that guy's cock off. Fucking <laughs> hell. And that third boy, he's stunning killing himself laughing. He says, what do you do? He says, I'm a lollipop man. <laughs> so I want a t-shirt. The person that tells us that might even be in the night, you never know. 